Thank you guys for the support. It was a hard fight, like I said it. But you know, we trained really hard in the gym. We we expected a war, and that's what happened. And we thank God, and that we came up with the victory. Thank you guys. Francisco, first question. You know, congratulations. Um, you know, with all the hype in this fight, in the California, two Mexican American fighters, shaking out the stigma of what fans think. You know, you fought a soft schedule at school fights. What did what did twelve rounds in the ring with with with, with uh, Marius? What did that teach you about yourself as a fighter that maybe you didn't get in your previous thirty one fights? No, the, I'm here to fight the best. Um, and like I said it before, uh, I'm here to fight the best, and I was gonna prove it that beating Marius, I was gonna show them ready for him and for anybody else. You know, with the better fighters, I look better. Uh, and that's what I said it in the beginning. I know how to box and everything, but we like all the fans. They like for me to go forward throwing a lot of punches and we always like to give the fans great fights and that's what we try to do but then we, we have to box him and we go do whatever we want. Thank you. Alright, you know what guys, awesome. We, we have a microphone going around. Before we get to our next question, I know Tom Brown from TGB Promotions who is the promoter for PBC here in Los Angeles. Santa Cruz Mines wants to send a congratulations to Leo Santa Cruz and he thinks that we had an amazing fight and what a war. It was everything he expected, and he wishes congratulations no, to Leo Santa Cruz. Compliments of Tom Brown, TGB Promotions. Bernie Barmazal is actually walking around here with the microphone, so please raise your hand, and he will accommodate that, and we will go forward from there. Leo, Saúl Rodríguez de Telemundo. ¿En qué basaste tu victoria esta noche, Leo? Mi familia. Siempre yo estoy peleando aquí por mi familia, y estoy siguiendo un buen futuro, y por todos los fans, por el apoyo que recibo, me da, eso, me, no, me da la motivación para seguir peleando y luchando por, por más cintos. La pregunta fue, ¿qué te motivó y qué pensaste durante el curso de la pelea? Leo's respuesta fue, mi familia. Yo siempre pelea por mi familia. Quiero darles una vida mejor. Y eso es por lo que pelea. Y eso es por lo que me empujo. Leo, estamos parados frente al nuevo ídolo de aquí en Los Ángeles. Vamos a pensar que puedes enseñar ya los zapatos de Paul de Boy. No, pues eso es lo que estamos de hacer, este, pelea por pelea vamos a ir mejorando, vamos a ir aprendiendo y ojalá algún día lleguemos a hacer este, como Oscar Loya, como cualquier peleador mexicano y ojalá algún día lleguemos a hacer eso. La pregunta fue, ¿crees que estás moviendo en el mismo realm que otro fighter de calidad y un amazing fighter de Los Ángeles, Oscar De La Hoya? ¿Crees que estás empezando a fill his shoes? Leo dice que sabe que tiene ways de ir antes de llegar a ese nivel, but He's going to continue to grow and move forward and train hard and try. And one day wants to show everyone and wants to continue to show everyone that he's a great Mexican champion. Leo, um, right here. Leo, um, you you see how well, well this fight was received against Mares. Do you, are you apt to want to have a rematch next, or would you rather uh, fight Gary Russell for the belt? And of course, if the fan won, if Mares wants a rematch, I'm willing. Like I said at the beginning. I know if I lost, I was going to want a rematch. If he lost, he was going to want a rematch. So I'm willing to give him a rematch. He deserved it, and whatever happens, happens. ¿Podría repetirlo en español, Leo? Sí, no, me estaba preguntando que si le daría la revancha a Mares. Yo le dije que sí, lo dije desde el principio. Yo sabía que cualquiera de los que perdiera iba a quedar una revancha. Y si Mares quiere la revancha, si los fans la quieren, yo estoy dispuesto a dársela. Se la merece y está optando para los peleadores como que sea. Leo, right at the opening bout over here, Right at the opening bout, he pretty much bum rushed you. He was, and then even you would keep him off with a lot of big punches. He still kept coming at you. What was your reaction to that? Uh, that he was trying to knock me out. I know he was gonna come out like that in the first round. He was gonna try to surprise me. But you know, we were calm, we were patient. We didn't get desperate. My dad told me he's not gonna be able to last a round like that. He get tired, and we were patient, and we just had him with good punches, and that's what we did. Leo Miguel Ángel Cerro, ESPN Deportes Radio. Eh, se dice, se habla ahora de Jesús Cuellar, el argentino. ¿Qué es más interesante, la revancha o el mar es una pelea con el argentino? Yo pienso que los que lo fans quieran, uh, yo estoy dispuesto, si los fans quieren que la revancha, le damos la revancha, si quieren que con Cuellar, que haya una, vota, hay una votación o algo, y, o mi equipo lo voy a hablar con mi equipo y la, lo que mi equipo decida. Question with Julio Santa Cruz, what are his thoughts are maybe fighting against uh, Jesús Cuellar, who's also in his division, or do you more think about a rematch with Ebner Mates. Leo's response, I'll do whatever and kind of go with whatever my team wants. If 
a fight with Quechad is out there, then a fight with Quechad is out there. If there's a rematch with Mares, he will they'll move forward with that. But he still, has, he first and foremost, he has to talk with his team, uh, sit back and observe, and then move forward from there. Leo, Leo this is Kenny Johnson, Tom, Tom Knox Sports. Do you think this win certifies your legacy as uh, one of the best boxers to come out of L.A.? I think so. Uh, this was, this was, was to be the, to be the king of L.A. Uh, we both give it our own. We give a great fight. And hopefully this fight puts me as one of the best from L.A. Hey, Leo. Uh, congratulations on your win. The perception going into this fight was you were going to be the banger. Mars was going to be the boxer. But you surprised him. Do, do you think you surprised him with your boxing ability? Yeah, of course. You know, um, they thought that I was going to go forward and be right there on top of him, but my dad said, uh, you could box him with jab, jab, right, you, you could beat him with that, and people, many people thought I couldn't box, and I always had said I could box, but you know, other fans, other people, they like for you to go with forward and give a war, but I had to be smart in this fight, and I had to do what to do to win the fight. Parte de ser eh, ídolo mexicano, se ha, se ha ido Márquez, se ha ido Valera Morales, parece que no hay una figura. No sé si hoy sientes que es un paso fuerte para, para llegar a esa próxima figura. Ya hablaste de Los Ángeles, pero en el caso del boxeo mexicano, no sé, ¿y, claro, si, sí. ¿y si estarías dispuesto a pelear en México? Claro que sí, es lo que yo estaba preparando desde hace un par de tiempo, estaba pidiendo que quiera ir a México a pelear allá, ante todo mi público, y ojalá que yo este, siga los pasos de Barrera, de Arce, Márquez, todos ellos, que quiera ser no mexicano. Y esta no yo pienso que lo probé. Mar es un gran peleador, tiene una gran pelea y eso es lo que tenemos que hacer para ponernos al siguiente nivel y eso es lo que hicimos. All right, let's go ahead, let's bring up, I'll let me translate real quick. Let's bring up Edward Mares. I'll translate real quick with Dale Sanders. Edward Mares. One and a half group. Both gentlemen. Let's play the start from 53 to 2. We're going to have Abner up here momentarily, but let me translate first what Leo said. He goes, a win like this certainly helps him to continue to move forward and follow the footsteps of the great Mexican champions, and he wants to continue to prove oh, his worth every single time. And now let's go ahead and you can just you can come up real quick. A round of applause to what a warrior, what an effort. He came out the center of the ring, and they started standing.